In today's video I'm going to show you four different kinds of GoPro pictures and each of those pictures I took they have a little trick, obviously I'm gonna reveal the trick and I'm also gonna show you how I edited those pictures. So let's start with the first one after the fly goes off the lens. There is one point you should think about even before you start taking your new pictures and that's the colors of your new pictures and the colors of your feed. If we have a look at my feed you see that I started with blue and white pictures and then I slowly transitioned to green pictures. That means for all the new pictures they should have green colors in the image that they match my feed. If you're able to match every picture to your feed then your Instagram profile will stand out much more. The first picture is the easiest one to get. The only thing you need is a GoPro dome. That's the big glassy thing you see right now in my hand. And this thing can break the surface level of the water that you have a straight line. So you have 50% of the image under the water and 50% over the water. And like that you can get really cool pictures. So let's hop now into Lightroom. There I show you how I edited the colors and so on. And after that we are going to have a look at the second picture. Picture. The first thing I usually do is playing around with the exposure just to see how it would look like and then I'm heading down to the tone curve tool where I drag down the blacks a little bit, I lift up the highlights like that I have an S shape in the curve and in this proper picture I'm lifting up the midtones as well just to have a little bit more clarity. Then with this little tool in the corner you can see how it looked before and afterwards. Then I'm heading right back to the highlights, I usually drag them down pretty low that I have more details and I'm gonna lift up the whites and the shadows to have a brighter look. Then for the blacks I'm gonna drag them down only a little bit and now we can see the before and afterwards again. Now the most interesting part is the color grading. I'm dragging down the blues pretty far because I want to have a high contrast between blue and orange in this picture. Therefore I'm gonna drag down the yellows a little bit to the orange side and because of that I have to lift up the greens again that the colors of the trees don't look too yellowish. Therefore I'm gonna lift them up a little bit towards the green side. Then for all other colors I'm just gonna play around and I leave those markers wherever I think it looks good. That completely depends of your taste. Then for the saturation I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Again I'm gonna raise the saturation for orange and of course blue to have more contrast and for all other colors I'm just playing around. The same with luminance. Now the big difference is here that I drag the blues pretty far down like that I can get this like GoPro outdoor look. It looks too extreme now but we are gonna to fix this later on. For all other colors it's again the same just playing around and now the most important thing is the blue, green and red primary adjustments. There you only have to do minor adjustments normally in this case they are a little bit more extreme because of the extreme look and that's exactly the place where you can get a little bit more out of your picture. Now the most important thing is that you fix the colors afterwards because they don't look the same anymore. In my case I wanted to adjust the blues again because they looked too extreme, like way too extreme in this picture, they don't look too natural and I'm gonna just do the same thing again and here you can have a before and after look. Then once you're happy you're gonna edit it in Photoshop and there I only use the crop tool to crop it by 4x5. That's very important, use 4x5 and not 4 to 4 a square picture because with 4x5 you just get more picture on your feed and then you're gonna export it. So I'm back outside, I'm at the moment standing right in front of this little red house of the second picture and this picture I took was also pretty simple to take but there is one little twist and if you zoom towards my mobile phone you can see that the screen is not the original one. But I show you everything how I did it but first let's check out how I took this picture. So the only thing I did, I held my GoPro towards the chest and I acted like I would take a picture of this red house with my mobile phone. But what I actually did, I took a picture with my mobile phone 
but as a remote control of the GoPro because if you set your GoPro to the time-lapse mode you cannot use the raw picture but if you take a normal picture then you can use them so whenever it's not possible to press with your finger to take a picture on the GoPro use your mobile phone then you still get the raw images then of course I edited the colors a little bit and as I said the screen as well so let's hop first into Lightroom and then into Photoshop Again, I start with the exposure playing around a little bit and then I'm heading down to the tone curve where I make again an S shape that means dragging down the blacks and lifting up the highlights a little bit. The midtones I don't touch in this picture. Then I go back up to the highlights, I drag them down to have more detail in my image and the whites and the shadows I'm gonna lift up to have a brighter image, the blacks I drag a little bit down. Now the most important thing is the color grading, obviously I lift up the greens and the yellows because I want to have a very shiny forest, therefore I have to lift up those colors and with the other ones I'm just playing around until I think it looks good. Then for the saturation exactly the same, I lift up the greens and the yellows like that I get an even more shiny look and then again I head to the bottom of Lightroom the most important part where you can fix the primary colors now in this case these are only minor adjustments I drag down the greens only a little bit and I play around with the red primary colors just to see how the red house would look like and then I'm again adjusting the blue primary colors I'm lifting up the blues very very few and then again, once I think I'm happy, I'm gonna export it to Photoshop to export it from there. Now here you have to export it twice, the original image and the 4x5, but not yet. First you want to import the exported original image with the color grading obviously and you want to place it over the mobile phone. To do that properly you have to decrease the opacity a little bit like that. You can place it better over the screen because I'm gonna do a screen replacement. Now make sure that you don't see your mobile phone or your arm on the screen on the mobile phone because that would just look very weird. And once you're happy with the placement of your image on your screen then you're gonna make a mask. Once this is done, you're gonna take this magnetic tool and then you're gonna mask out everything which lays over the screen and also the borders of the screen. This might take a while, but it's completely worth it. Once you're done, you're gonna inverse the mask with Control shift i for example, and then you're gonna take this tool right here and you're gonna increase the size of the circle. Then you're gonna paint away everything which is not on the mask, make sure that your color is set to black on the lower left corner and once you're done with this then you're almost done you have to do one little thing and that's playing around with the opacity because it just doesn't look very natural if the opacity is set to a hundred percent. So this third picture I already uploaded a few weeks or months ago on Instagram and everybody wanted to know how I did that. And now I'm gonna reveal the trick. So it's pretty simple. The only thing you have to do, you have to search a cutoff tree, a stone or stairs or whatever. The only thing which needs to be there is an object which is higher than the ground itself. Then you just lay your GoPro on the ground pointing towards the sky and then you're gonna make a step in the air. That's it. Of course you take again the picture with your mobile phone that you get the raw image. That's very important for the color grading, which we are gonna have a look at right now in Lightroom. For this picture I wanted to have a more cinematic look, that's why I'm dragging down the blues to the teal side and I'm dragging down the greens as well to the yellow side as well as the yellows to the orange, like that I can have this teal and orange contrast which gives the cinematic look. Then for the saturation and luminance it's exactly the same, you play around with those markers until you are done and then you head down to the bottom of Lightroom and now the very important thing is the blue primary color. You drag down the blues, the greens and the reds you play around because the blues are the important colors for the cinematic look, the primary blues and then you just gonna fix a little bit all the adjustments you just made and then once you are happy you're gonna import it to Photoshop and from there you're gonna export it in a 4x5 format. So 
So for this last picture you're never ever gonna guess how I did it. If you still think so that you got the trick then let me know down in the comments but of course before I'm gonna reveal it otherwise it's not fun to guess. So what I did is I searched for a pretty long branch and then I hung up there my GoPro and I lifted the branch with my arm into the air. Like that I can have like a bird's eye view perspective on myself and on the image it looks like that I'm just holding a regular tree but actually I was lifting up a branch into the air. Now that's by far the hardest picture to get because it's really heavy to hold this branch all the time in the air and you have to hold it still that your camera doesn't swing around because you want to get sharp pictures. And again I took this picture with my mobile phone as a remote control to get the raw format. That's what you need to edit in Lightroom. Well you don't actually need it but you get better results and I just want to have the best quality possible. So now for the last time we are gonna hop into Lightroom. I'm already saying goodbye to you because you're not gonna see me again. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you also enjoyed this last part. And then we see each other again in two weeks again from this place here. Now with this picture I had to start a little bit differently. I had to rotate it 180 degrees because it was shot upside down. And then it's exactly the same like the other three pictures I just showed you. These are the same steps. Do your color correction first, head down to the color panel, do the color grading and don't forget the red, green and blue primary colors. These are very important to get a little bit an extra touch in your colors. Then compare it to your original image and if you're happy import it to Photoshop and export it by 4x5. The 4x5 format is very important.